Okay, we're recording. All right. Good morning and happy Easter Monday to everyone. This is uh, Monday, April the 5th, and I hope everyone had a blessed and beautiful Easter weekend, um, however you celebrate that. And um, we are here bright and bushy-tailed, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, <laughs> hopefully. Um, and we're here to share our wonderful experiences with the uh, LifeWave uh, technology, all of the amazing um, light therapy patches we have. So um, we take this round table, we call it a round table chat. So everyone is um, equal. We all, we all have gifts, we all have uh, stories, we all have, sometimes we have great advice. So um, we're gonna open it up here in a moment to whoever might have a question or a testimonial. And just a reminder that we always give at the beginning of every call, and that is that we are going to only share um, symptoms. Do not name disease states when you speak about your changes with the patch. Um, so just name uh, your symptoms, how you felt before the patch, what patches you used, and how you feel now. So uh, who would like to get started on this beautiful Monday? Mike, I have a question. Sure, Mike. Uh, okay. Um, my daughter married into the family in June. And hey, Mike, one of the. Mike, hold on just one second. I'm going to go ahead and do a global mute, mute everyone so we don't get any background noise. So you will have to unmute yourself in a moment. Okay, Mike, go ahead and unmute. Go ahead, Mike. Share your question. Mike? You can speak now, Mike. You can go ahead, Mike, with your question. Huh, oh, Mike, like Mike seems to be... Okay, I'm back. Are you there? His video is frozen. Huh. Uh, Mike, there's something going on with your audio. Uh, so I don't know if you want to... Okay. What I'm getting, uh, my, yeah, right. I'm, Mike, we're having a hard time okay. hearing you. So what I, what You're I talking, suggest. So I was talking my, over you. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's hard to hear you. I think maybe stop your video and just use your audio. Cause we're, it's kind of cutting in and out. You want to try again, Mike, with just your audio, but no video. I'm not hearing him, Gregory, are you? No, I'm not. Uh, okay, Mike, we will come back to you um, in a moment. Let's see who else might have a question or a comment uh, to start off. And unmute yourself. Okay, Anne-Marie, go ahead. Make sure you unmute. Okay, so I had a dentist appointment last Friday not excited about it. It was for four crowns on one sitting and two top front and then the two beside there. So that's about the most sensitive place in the mouth to shoot Novocaine. So I wasn't looking forward to it. So about an hour before the visit, I just made up my own protocol. I got ice wave, put tan on the left, white on the right, just behind my, the bottom of my earlobe right in here, mastoid bone, I guess. And then on that, I, I stacked an Eon on top of the ice waves. And then I put an X39 on top of the uh, Eons. So then I put Energy Enhancer on kidney one on bottom to the feet and Energy Enhancer at lung one. So I was really ready for this appointment. <laughs> and so when she uh, started to do the Novocaine, she said, she told me, this is the most sensitive place in the mouth. So sometimes it, it's going to hurt, you know, just bear with us. I took a deep breath. She did the Novocaine right side, left side, back to the right, back to the left. I never felt anything that shot, nothing. I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. <laughs> so that was my protocol. Anne-Marie, oh my gosh. So you did stacking, you did ice wave. And then you did Eon, and then you did X39. I did. And I just, I used my common sense. I thought, well, 
if there's energy flow to transfer between here and here, that's right through my mouth, right through my jaw, it might have a, an impact and it sure did. I love your story. It seems like a lot of us have dental stories, right, Gregory? Sat Sunder. I mean, I think um, us baby boomers, that's kind of a, that's a big deal. The, the, oh my gosh. We're, a lot of us are dealing with, I've got, I've got some stuff that's going to have to happen here pretty soon. So thanks for that chair. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Someone has a hand up. It just says iPhone. I don't know who that is because it doesn't have a name. So whoever raised their hand, go ahead and unmute and go ahead and share. Hi, Ann. I uh, raised my hand, <clears throat> excuse me, and I was wondering if anyone knew of a patch that would help with uh, too much iron in the system? Hmm. If anyone has a share, I, I, I can't speak that I've actually heard about a protocol for that, but I know that X39 is always about balancing and restoring homeostasis in the body. Uh, so I would always start with that. Uh, but I don't know, does anyone else have any ideas about too much iron in the body and what patches? Well, she wears X39. It's a friend of mine and she has all kinds of issues. Uh huh. How, um, long, how long has she been on the X39? Oh, probably just um, maybe a month or two. Okay. Well, as we all know from being on these calls, you know, things change and sometimes dramatically and sometimes it takes a while. I mean, blood things I would think might take a little longer than a month. So um, I would encourage okay. her to hang in there and just keep. Michelle. Yeah. Okay. Barbara. Uh, Michelle, oh, this Barbara is Barbara. Dr. Hey. Barbara to the rescue. <laughs> So I actually just logged on uh, just a minute ago. So I don't know if somebody already said this, but with too much iron, I would definitely be using the glutathione. Hmm. Okay, uh, I will let her know. Thank you, yeah. Dr. Barbara. Yay. Your, your liver is playing a big, a big role in that. And okay. uh, the <laughs> liver uses lots of glutathione and could really benefit a lot from more of it. Amen. Okay. Hmm. Amen, glutathione. Okay. Awesome. This is why we're a community. We always have, we always have someone that can uh, answer a question. Thank you, Dr. Barbara. Someone else has an iPhone hand up, uh, their hand up, who's on an iPhone. I don't have, I don't see a name. Or maybe you just hung up the woman that just spoke. Does someone else have a hand up that would like to share? And if so, please unmute. Okay. Linda, Linda, go ahead. You have your hand up. I have a client that the symptoms are, she gets a strange look, she has instant fear, her head hurts, her chest feels funny, and she's dizzy. About six months ago, she had an electrical shock. To me, I think I'd start with X39 and carnosine and maybe some Eon. Any suggestions? When you say she had an electrical shock, what, what do you mean? She touched something and, the, and she, her body was shocked. Oh. And she said it flipped her backwards. Oh my gosh. She has no medical records. I said, have you ever had an EKG? No. You know, I don't know what's going on, but the, shock, the electricity went in and it came out. It's affecting the upper half of her body. What would you do? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna throw that out to our community. Maybe Dr. Barbara has another idea. Definitely X39, always, always, um, but electric. Okay, so Ian was a good idea, I think, because it's about the nervous system, parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system balance. So Ian would definitely be good. Yes. And, and I yes. would agree with Dr. Barbara. Glutathione, I would, on any situation, I would always add glutathione. The other thing that I would I would consider is adding the energy enhancer because that it works so much with the electrical flow within the body. So I would probably use 
the energy enhancer on the bottom of the feet, like Dr. Walt was talking about on the last uh, Tuesday call. I don't know if it was last week or the week before, but energy enhancer on K1 on the bottom of each foot to, to impact the entire energetic flow systemically. I, I would think that that would help balance that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Parker. All right. You're welcome. Do you um do you want to take your hand down? I think you can. I'm like, back with our video. Can you hear me? Oh, I think Mike is back. Uh, yes, we can hear you, Mike. You want to go okay, ahead? Okay, I, I can't see. I'm not coming across video, but I have the question. Go ahead, Mike. Okay. This is a family member, and I really wanted to help her with her migraines, and she's a very limited budget. So I sent her some. XP9, and she was on it for like two weeks and got no result at ever. And, she, and I told her about the hat, sent her the stuff for the hat. She put the hat together and instantly it helped her with her, with her, with her uh, migraines. Of course, then she, I think she was using it 12 hours, changing the patches, 12 hours again, not giving her body any rest, but she ran out of patches. Now, my question is now, if when we get her to buy it, can she for a while with the, just use the hat patches without the X39 since she has a very limited budget? Did you hear me? Yes, I did hear you, Mike. So you're wondering if she can, she got great results from the hat protocol. Yes. Um, and, um, and she, doesn't she's wondering if she can just use that and not the X39 because of her budget. You know Correct. what? I, I we we didn't have the X39 two years ago. And so I would say if it was a friend of mine, I would say do what's helping you and when you can um bring in the X39. Okay. Because I, I would also suggest that she try the ice wave. Uh I love the head protocol, the hat protocol. It it works really well, but for some migraines, the ice wave works beautifully. I mean, within seconds. I've had people in my office go from a horrible migraine to zero in five seconds. With yes, just <laughs> with just ice wave. Where should where should she put it, Dr. Barbara? So I I have them put the brown one wherever it hurts the most. Often with a migraine, it's right on the top of the head, right the crown of the head. And then I move the white one around. We try the forehead, we try over the right ear, we try over the left ear, we try the neck, um, top of like top of the neck, bottom of the neck. Uh, usually one of those works. Okay. Do you, do, you stick, do you stick the patches on the hair, Dr. Barbara, just directly on the hair? If you're doing the top. Uh, the I do, yep. Okay. If they if they don't want it on their hair, then I don't take the uh, the you know we'll either put it on a sticker, or I'll tell them to wear a headband, or you can just bobby pin it in oh, the hair. So, that's a great idea because I've got I, I, patch, I've gotten a patch stuck in my hair and it kind of hurts when you pull it out. So yeah bobby, yeah. Bobby so pin. so if it's long hair, if it's me, I use a bobby pin, and you can also lift up, you know, you, you can lift up half of your hair and place it on some hair and then put the top hair over and you can't even see it. Okay. So it's the brown so, where it hurts and then the white one you move it around until you... Yes, and if that doesn't work, then you switch them, right? White in the where it hurts and move the brown one around. But um, I think, so with migraines, uh, with, with ice wave in general, you want to think about pulling the the energy away from that area. So I have found with migraines, it's more common to find the the spot that works on the neck, upper or lower neck. One person, it was even like down on their sacrum. So you know you might have to try lots of places, but you know drawing the energy, that, that pain, congestion uh, energy from the head all the way down the spine to the lower back or sacrum uh, has worked uh, for me with, uh, with one person. 
Okay. I am totally brand new with this, and so I'm no expert by any stretch. But that's why I need you guys' help. Yeah. Oh, well, we're all we're all learning, Mike. We're all here to help each other. So yeah, and I swave. Uh, you know, I swave cost a lot less than doing the whole hack uh, protocol. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Dr. Barbara. Kay, you have a hand up. Kay, you need to mute, um, unmute. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. First, I have a testimonial and then a question. So I have a client, a person that's new to this company and brand new to network marketing. And he patched up a lady who has pain in all her muscles in her skeleton. Um, all throughout the entire body, uh, doesn't sleep well. Um, and he put her on X39, an energy enhancer during the day and Eon at night. And then uh, he also had her use Eon at night, I'm sorry, Ice Wave at night, moving it wherever the pain was the worst because with this problem, the pain moves throughout the body. It isn't a one one particular area. And after about a week, she called him and said, literally, I slept better last night than I have slept in decades. Thank you so much. Wow. So I did want to share that. Thank and you. Yeah, so that was whole body pain, just move. Yes, uh, mus pain. particularly the muscle pain that people get throughout the entire body where they have no idea where it's coming from. Wow, thank you, great. And then I do have a personal question. Um, Anne-Marie and I, and I have been working on this. So um, I am experiencing extreme pain in my upper right leg when I stand up and walk after I've been sitting for any length of time, even only 10 minutes. And the more I walk, the more it goes away. And we have put patches just about everywhere, <laughs> lots of patches. Um, so I'm wondering, especially with Barbara on the line, if anybody can give me suggestions on which go where, because literally I'll, I put the entire drawer full of patches on and I'm, I'm not getting a change in this. I think it's coming from my back. It's similar to sciatica, except that runs down the back of the leg. And this is on the front of my upper leg. So I'm stuck. Okay. Okay, I was I was writing a note to Kira, and so didn't didn't hear the first part of that. It, can you just recap real quick where the pain is and goes? Yes, anytime I've been sitting for any length of time, uh, when I stand up and walk, my upper right leg muscles uh, hurt so much I have to limp to walk. The more I walk, the better it gets. So it's obviously the sitting that's generating the problem. And then when I walk, it must stretch out. So I don't know whether to put patches on the leg, on the back, which one's where. And if anybody's okay. had any experience. So you're, ta important. you're talking about quadriceps muscles? I don't know my physiology. Yeah. Well. Right. So your thigh, the front of your yes. thigh. The front okay. of my thigh, right. And actually mm -hmm. into where the leg bends when I'm sitting, uh, mm -hmm. right, right in the joint where the leg bends. Yeah. From there down for just a little bit is where it, where it cramps so much. All right. Well, as a chiropractor, I would say go get your pelvis adjusted. So that... I have been adjusted every day for a week with no okay, no help. Yeah. All right. Um, well, it, it takes longer than a week to help the muscles adjust because muscles pull bones. And uh, if the muscles are tight, they'll continue to pull bones until they're, they're able to hold their right position and not be so tight. So I would stretch for sure, stretch your quadriceps, mm -hmm. right? Pull your, your foot behind, uh, behind up towards your bum. So you can do that um, on the floor or standing. So stretch your quadriceps, stretch your hamstrings because you always wanna stretch uh, the antagonist muscles, right? The front and back equally. Um, and for the pain, I, I would try. So when using IceWave, I've found that it works the best when you cross a joint. 
So wherever it hurts the most, uh, I would put the brown one there and the ice wave, try it below your knee or try it above on your lower abdomen so it's crossing your hip joint. Uh, you could also try on the back of the leg because sometimes front to back works uh, is the right place. Hmm. And, and I would always use X39. Uh, it's it's going to work in a very different way than, than Ice Wave works. So that's what I would suggest. So Dr. Jennings, you would put everything on the leg, nothing on the back to, since it seems to come from sitting? <laughs> Well, you're, you're feeling the pain in the front. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, so I would, you know, my thinking is that there's probably an issue in your ball and socket joint, at the position of the head of your femur in, in your hip. And so I would get that adjusted and stretch before and after the adjustment okay. uh, to help it stick better. But as far as using the patches for the discomfort, then... Yeah, I would, the, the X39, you could definitely wear it on your back, you know, maybe on your sacrum. Um, but if you're using the ice wave, I, I'm not sure which, which places is, uh, hurts more in, in the, the joint, uh, the, the crease of your hip where it bends or on, the muscles of your thigh, your quadricep muscle. But it's I would have a crease. Sorry? It, it is in the crease if I say where it hurts the most, but the, the muscles mm -hmm. also hurt. Yeah, so that would be interesting. It, it, it might work better, like I said, to cross the joint. So put the, the brown one mm -hmm. on the muscle of your leg and the white one on your lower abdomen. Okay. Right a, a, across the joint, or or sw swap it. It really depends which way that that energy needs to move. You know, don't take all this the the paper off and stick it on <laughs> until you until you find which way works the best. And I, so I had another person we were working with um, with pain down the front of her leg, just like this. And what worked the best for her was. Uh, brown on, on the lower abdomen, right? Kind of, so if it's your right side, you know, think of where, where your appendix might be. And then the brown, or sorry, the white one was actually below her knee. So we crossed two joints and that's what worked for her. Thank you so much for all those suggestions. Thank you, Dr. Barbara. Mm -hmm. All right, we have time for maybe one more because Elizabeth has had her hand up and then um, we're, we're at 9, uh, 9.23, we're 23 after. So Elizabeth, go ahead. And yes. Then, go ahead. Okay, hi, I'm also a chiropractor. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that you've gotten your um, pelvis adjusted and also the hip is a good idea. I get a lot of results, good results with adjusting the symphysis pubis the joint in the front that comes apart when we deliver our babies. So that might be something to look into. And then I do have a question. I'm new to the group and new to LifeWave. Is there a patch that would, would um, repel insects? I'm thinking of ticks especially. I use a um, frequency embedded little card that works great. But I was wondering, is there a patch or a set of patches that would create an energy field where we would repel ticks, mosquitoes? <laughs> oh my gosh, wouldn't that be great? Gregory's laughing. Oh, we would love that. We had to tell David to make a patch like that. Okay. <laughs> I, I know mosquitoes love me. I'm like, what is going on? I can be with people and they, they avoid them and they go for me. So I don't, I don't know, Gregory, do you? You, I have not a clue, but have I you ever heard? I've people. never heard of that, Elizabeth. Does anyone on the call have any experience with a patch repelling um, ticks or mosquitoes? Or that would be cool. No, Sam's chiggers. I, I, you know, I think essential oil. No, I, yeah, uh -huh. I think 
I think essential oils are better at repelling. Yeah. Okay. That's what I would use. Well, I'll stick with my other thing, my other tag, because it works great. We used it on our dog and it totally kept ticks off of her. Oh it was amazing. God. Totally. Wow. Totally. It was awesome. great. Yeah. Thanks well, thank you. Much. Thank uh -huh. you. All right. Well, we're at uh, about 25 after, so I'm going to turn it over to Gregory and see if he has an announcement or two about tonight's call. Yeah, I do. But first, I do want to announce that Dr. Barbara is available for personal consultation. Of course, there's a fee. She's a doctor. But if you'd like to reach her, maybe, Dr. Barbara, if you could type your uh, phone number and email in the chat for everyone to see. Um, it, you've been so gracious uh, sharing your wisdom and knowledge. And uh, so if anybody has, you know, wants to get into any, a personal one-on-one -on -one discussion, diagnosis, and recommendation with uh, Dr. Barbara, uh, she's available. So, uh, so that's an announcement. <clears throat> and then tonight, uh, on the Monday night calls, we, you know, coming out of our meeting every Wednesday, we have a director's mastermind. And when all of you get to be a director above, you can join us. So the directors, we come together at this time, not on this phone number so or Zoom account, so don't bother trying. But we come together and, you know, we mastermind in the true spirit of a mastermind. And we came up with the idea of sharing success on every Monday evening call and maybe cherry picking some of the stories that come from our Monday morning and our Thursday morning calls. So I just want to put that out there. So, you know, uh, that I think it's just so valuable to he hear people's product and business stories because, you know, we've all heard information tells, story sell, and, you know, the excitement that we all have hearing each other's success with the products kind of buoys us up. This is such a great way to start a week and start a Monday morning, isn't it? So I want to let everybody know. So we're going to start doing that. And, uh, and I think, Michelle, you have someone that you might be uh, sharing success with uh, that's a new manager, you know? Yes, yes. I'm, I, I haven't heard back from her yet, but yes, okay. I'm going to reach out again. Yep. Great. Yep. So I just wanted to announce that because I think, again, success leaves clues and, you know, it builds a community, uh, you know, through, you know, sharing our stories. So that's all I really had to share this morning with everyone. So this is a wonderful call. Great job, Michelle and everyone else. Thanks, everybody. I hope you have a beautiful week. Keep on patching, everyone. So I don't Spread see Dr. Barbara. I'm just going to give Dr. Barbara's. Uh, I didn't see it in the chat. Uh, oh, she it's there. It's in the chat, Gregory. It's a couple oh, it is? Of OK, good. Oh, there it is. Thank you. OK, so there it is. So if anybody wants it, grab it now, because when I end the call, the chat will go away. And they're not saved anywhere. So these are, you know, real time disappearing messages. So 970-377-9611 or Dr. Barbara Jennings with S on the end, Dr. Barbara Jennings, double N at gmail.com. So you could send her a text and set up an appointment or drop her an email, set up an appointment. And thank you everyone for being part of this blessed community. Um, wishing you the best that life and LifeWave has to offer. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.